the Francois de Gannet handicap hurdle is next. This is a grade three handicap. Over two miles and three furlongs. And at the top we've got fit on point for Darren Thompson. Delightful Joshua Sullivan, Dark Shadows, Leon Van Rensburg, movie star David Hooley, Tutan Carmen, Kevin Minahan, Honoured Benny, Daniel French, Gallant Gina. Paul Rhodes, Value Club, Craig Beckwith, Gold Staple, Alex Cherry, Jazzy Lady, Graham Clutterbuck, Circular Bridge, Martin Leadham, Odyssey, Paul Rhodes, and Diamond Class for Alex Cherry. So 13 then to face the starter in the Francois de Ganet. And away they go. Short one to the first, which they're all successfully to the other side of with Tutan Carmen. they settled down into the lead. So Tutan Carmen then is. Bowling along in front from Delightful in second as they get to the second, which they're all safely over. Circular Bridge is the current back marker, just finding the pace a little bit hot and already being given the hurry up by the jockey. Once they get to the third, which they're all safely over again with Tutan Carmen opening up by about four or five. Two Dark Shadows in second on the inside of Delightful as they take the two on the bank. They're all safely over it. Value Club just heading the main body of the field. Circular Bridge is now made up the deficit and is alongside Gallant Gina towards the back. And they swing left handed now then. And they'll race up towards the straight and then they'll go on a complete circuit of the track with Toot and Carmen. Or Kevin Minahan in the green and orange skips over flight number six with a clear lead of about four lengths. Delightful is in second. As they get over the seventh, oh, Joshua Sutherland in the red and the black hoops, and good chunk there by Fit on Point. In the maroon with the white sleeves, I've seen that one going for a share of third with Dark Shadows for Leon van Rensburg in the dark blue. On the inside of that one is the purple jacketed movie star for David Hilly, then Craig Beck with white sleeves on Value Club as they pass the winning post. On the outside is Jazzy Lady in the Welsh flag colours of Graham Clutterbuck, right over on the far side on the rail is Odyssey. Or Paul Rhodes in the Dancing Brave colours, which he seems to have adopted this season. And then two for Alex Cherry, Diamond Class, about a length or so ahead of Stablemate Gold Staple. And then towards the back, Daniel French is on and Benny. Paul Rhodes is Greg, Gallant Gina, and Circular Bridge, Paul Moir, uh, the back marker. So it's Tutan Carmen, who's in the lead by about four or five as they get over the ninth. Delightful chasing in second. Uh, then Value Club on the outside of Fit on Point with Dark Shadows trying to come between the two of them. On well, the rail movie stars moving to third. One has crept up the rail really handily is Honoured Benny, and that one is now into about fifth. And just made his way through the pack quite nicely. As they get over the tenth, and all safely over the tenth, although Diamond Class didn't jump it all that well. And that's now been shuffled to the back. But Tootin Carmen continues to lead over the 11th, and there on Benny didn't jump it very well. And a lot of that ground that he made up earlier has been lost again, but he's been given the signal by the jockey to increase his pace a little bit and he gets over the 12th. Nice to jump that really well. And once again, being given a bit of a hurry up afterwards, and he's now moved into his share a second. But it's still Tootin Carmen that's got the lead as they get over this bank thing again. And Tootin Carmen. In the lead, Honoured Benny now now being driven up to move into second. They've got two more flights of hurdles to take, and they've still got the best part of four furlongs to race. And Tootin Carmen is kicking on round this turn. Honoured Benny is trying to cover that run. Value Club's come through in the third. Then comes Dark Shadows and Delightful, and then Fit on Point is wide on the outside. Movie Star's trying to run on after that jazzy lady. I think we can probably forget the back three there, probably out of it. Odyssey might just about be able to get in there with a bit of a challenge over the second last leg over. It's Tootin Carmen who's clear by two. Tootin Carmen to Value Club and Dark Shadows. Then Delightful on and Benny there seems to be going backwards over the final flight. They go and Tootin Carmen has kicked on and nobody's got anywhere near this Tootin Carmen yet today. Tootin Carmen is still three clear racing inside the final half further. Delightful is beginning to close. Tootin Carmen is tying up. Are we seeing the same as we saw in the last race? It's going to be Delightful who's going to steal it on the line. Delightful takes it. Tootin Carmen second. Honoured Benny ran on again in third. What a strange race that one. 
all the way back to the Alex Cherry pair at the back and once again we see a horse go for home and not quite make it to the post although this time no blame can be laid at the foot of the jockey and delightful just had that little bit more power up the home straight and delightful takes it for Joshua Sutherland Tootin Carmen for Kevin Minahan was second, Honoured Benny for Daniel French was third, Dark Shadows for Leon Van Riesel was fourth, and Movie Star for David Hooney was fifth. Just looking at the waist there, you can see fit on point for Darren Thompson running in that race with off a mark of 168, meant that every single other horse ran off nine stone 12, so there really wasn't a handicap in any way, shape, or form. It was just a race where fit on point had a huge penalty. So it will be quite interesting to see. What happens when those lot come up against each other again? So, Delightful takes it for Joshua Sutherland, but Tootin' Carmen, gun in defeat for Kevin Reno.